Welcome to this tutorial on how to use Academic Search Complete. I'm Susan Gare, a librarian at College of the Redwoods, and in this video you'll learn how to navigate to the Academic Search Complete database, log in to access CR library resources from off campus, and how to use Academic Search Complete. To navigate to Academic Search Complete, let's start from the home page of the College of the Redwoods. To navigate to the CR library home page, Click Academics and Library. Scroll down and on the left hand side is the Resources panel. We're going to click on Articles and Databases. On this A to Z databases page are links to 40 databases and right at the top is the link to Academic Search Complete. When you click on this link while you're off campus, you'll be brought to this page where you have to log in to access CR library resources, which are only available to students, staff, and faculty of CR. Students type their web advisor user ID and eight digit birth date and click log in. Faculty and staff enter their employee ID or data tell number here and then click log in. This is the home page of Academic Search Complete. Academic Search Complete contains articles from over 2100 academic journals covering the sciences, technology, engineering, math, social sciences, and humanities. This screen is the basic search option with just the uh, search box and the search button. We're going to type a few keywords or simple important but important words from our assignment topic or research question into this search box. For this demonstration, I'll type in online library instruction. And notice the automatically generated topic suggested under the search box. And there's my topic, on online library instruction. And I click search. A couple of things I'll point out from our search results. We found over 1,000 search results. We can narrow down this number using some requirements for the assignment. In the basic search we just ran, the, def the default setting is to limit your results to those for which you'll have the access to the full text of the article, not just the brief summary or abstract of the article. If you use advanced search, you'll have to check that box. If your instructor said that some or all of your results must come from scholarly or peer-reviewed journals, check the scholarly peer-reviewed journal checkbox. To get results that are current, you may need to narrow the publication dates to the last five or ten years. If you still get lots of results, you can add some more search terms to get results that are even more relevant to your work, your research topic. I'm going to add the word college to these terms because I'm interested in online library instruction at the college level. At this point, you'll want to start identifying and saving the articles that you might like to use in your research. Skim the titles and the abstracts for relevant articles. So there's the title. This is the first couple lines of, of the abstract. And you'll scroll down. And I'm interested in this article on enhancing research skills and information literacy and community college science students. So I'll click on the title. And what I see here is just more information about the article, not yet the article itself. I see the author's names, the uh, journal this was published in, some more subject terms that might help me with further searching. Um, and if I scroll down, 
I will see an abstract of the article, the full abstract, but not yet the article itself. But if I scroll up and click where it says PDF full text, this window displaying the full text of the article appears. From here, I can print this article. I can download it to my computer or a thumb drive. I can email it to myself. I can get the, cite the citation format information. So I'll click there. Academic Search Complete provides the formatted citations in several different uh, citation styles. At CR, we usually use APA format, which is right there. You can just select it, copy it, and paste it to your paper. Or MLA format, which is just a little further down the list. And there it is. And if we click on the email button, I can email this article to myself. I'll type in my address in the email to box. Put a descriptive subject, uh, maybe the class and the assignment that it's for. And then make, I can choose my citation format style. There's APA, there's MLA, and click send. I want to go back to my results list and click there. And this concludes this tutorial on how to use Academic Search Complete. Our other databases work in similar ways, so much of what you learned in this video will help you with them as well. Thank you very much and have a good day.